You can think of the grammar rules of a context-free language as a path to acceptance. As long as a string stays on the path, it will eventually lead to an accepting state. So how can we create the grammar for a context-free language? In general, a grammatically correct expression can be broken into fragments that satisfy grammatical rules. For example, we can say in general, but not general in. We can say a grammatically correct expression, but not expression A correct grammatically. We can say can be broken, but not broken can be, at least not until you're 900 or so. We can say into fragments, but not fragments into. So our grammar rules allow us to replace an expression with a simpler expression. Thus, we want to find production rules that replace a variable with simpler components, where alpha is some concatenation of terminal symbols and variables. Eventually, we need productions of the form where x is itself a terminal symbol. Now remember, it helps to work backwards. So one approach, we can identify elementary variables that can be replaced with terminal symbols, and we can identify rules for creating new variable expressions from existing variables. For example, let's try to find a context-free grammar describing the language of balanced sets of parentheses. Now, the most elementary expression in this language is zero, so we need a rule that produces zero, and we can just use our start symbol. Now we want to find a way of creating new expressions from the existing variables. So let's consider. Suppose we have an expression that's an element of our language. Then if we throw a set of parentheses around that expression, it's still an element of our language. And so this corresponds to the production rule S produces parenthesis S. And so we can describe our grammar rules as S produces zero, or S produces a set of parentheses around S. So remember, if you don't find your mistakes, someone else will. So let's verify by applying our grammar rules to something that shouldn't be part of the language, and then we'll also check that it applies to something that should be. So we'll start with S being this string, our grammar rules allow us to replace S with a set of parentheses around S, and so that takes care of the outermost set of parentheses. And again, we can replace S with parenthesis S, which will take care of the outermost set of parentheses. And we can do that again. But now our variable can't be replaced with parentheses around something else, and our variable is not a terminal symbol either, so we can't complete the deconstruction, and our string is not part of the language. Now let's consider something that should be part of the language. So here we could take our start symbol and replace it with parenthesis s. We can take our start symbol, replace it with parenthesis s, and now our start symbol is a terminal symbol, and so we could do that final replacement and complete our deconstruction, and we have something that is part of the language.